Hello, today I'm going to be reviewing Vape V4 for Minecraft 1.8.9. Now, Vape V4 is a pretty nice premium ghost client. Well, it's technically a hybrid client, but you know what I mean. So, it can be bought from vape.gg for like, uh, I think, $50, 32 USD, something like that. And this is what um, it looks like. That's from my Iridium Clicker video here. There we go, that's what the array list looks like. And the GUI looks like this. It's really nice, I think it looks super duper clean, and it's got a legit menu with um, a bunch of different legit stuff. But we're not going to be getting into a legit menu, it's just kind of cool. So you can use it if you inject it into Optifine. Vape V4 works decently for screen share proof. I mean, if you're careful, it'll work, but that's with most clients. Uh, vape Light vape light is obviously better for screen share proof. It's literally got in its description that's good for screen share proof. Vape V4 has a number of blatant and legit modules. Uh, for example, my favorite module in possibly the entire client would be the auto clicker. The auto clicker works really, really well from what I've found. Ah, my microphone. And it is highly customizable and works better than most clients. Oh no, my microphone is falling off the. Clicker module works way too well for for what Vape is. Uh, Vape is the most trusted client on the market. I did a poll on Reddit <laughs> and found it out. Whoa. Whoa, FPS drops. Yeah, that's one of the cons with Vape. Major FPS drops, like constantly. Like, can you see these FPS drops? What? They're usually not even that bad. And that... What? First, we're going to move on to the pros of vape. And... Let's talk about them. The pros of vape is that every single... Um, every module is well made and a lot of time is and effort has been put into them. Another pro is that all the ghost features bypass most servers, except for like my main club, because it, it'll be explained in the description. Client visuals, despite not being very customizable, are really nice looking in my opinion. I don't have many visual things on at the moment. But, yeah. It also helps you to win a ton of HVHs against other closet cheaters, I find. And if you're on like um, a HVH server like Cold PvP, I find that it works really, really well. Um, blatant with no anti-cheat, but we'll get into with anti-cheat blatant cheating on the vape in, in a bit. Now, despite what you might think from no hacks with how blatant he goes on his channel, vape's blatant modules suck, and this, um, cons. Now before I say all the cons and everything, I have nothing against the owner of Vape slash co-owner of MMC. He's a cool dude from what I've heard and I have nothing against him. I'm just trying to keep this review completely unbiased. Yeah, one of the cons... Okay, so first con of Vape is that the blimp modules are really bad. Despite what no hacks and maybe Z-Blacking say, 
the uh, latent modules on vape kind of suck, bro. They're not very customizable, the blade modules, and I find that even though it advertises it to be a hybrid client with a number of ghost and um, and blatant features, I find that the blatant features really suck. Possibly the final thing I have to say about Vape is another con, and that's in the module list, a ton of of stuff is hidden by default and it's really annoying. Like, I don't know why you'd hide stuff by default. And it's especially in the blatant section and some of the render, well, one of the render modules is hidden by default too, which confuses me a lot. Like, what? Why? The final con of vape is is the update schedule. The update schedule for vape really, really sucks. Um, the latest update being about a month or two ago, and it was the bridging update where they added a bunch of bridging related stuff like the Godbridge and Telebridge module, but it wasn't that huge. And the last update before that was uh, just a patch update, and from what I heard, it kind of sucked. And it was five months before the bridging update. So, yeah, the update schedule is a big problem, and I don't think V5 is ever going to come out, to be honest, with um, how bad the update schedule has been in the past. So yeah, should you buy vape? Yes. Definitely. It's considered a end game client. A bit like Drip or Drip Light. They're end game clients, so definitely buy vape. It is a very high quality and well made client. But that's gonna be about it, see ya.